What is up everyone? This is Omega Belmong here with a little video for Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment. And yes, this is not a game for PS3. I wish it was. But this is actually a game for the Vita. It's actually a game for PSP, but if I remember right, I heard from forums and stuff like that. This is just a, a redone version of the PSP version for the Vita with... A few little things like that. So, I'm uh, pretty excited for this. Maybe I'll do this as a playthrough, but uh, I just want to kind of show off a little bit of the game here. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a lot of the the gameplay already on YouTube and things like that. So, I'm just going to do my personal version. I, f of course, don't know much about this game uh, other than I played it for a few hours. Or a little bit more than that, but even then, it's, it, this game is a, has a really high learning curve. So, uh, even if I put like 20 hours, I think I put 20 hours. I know that's not a lot, right? I think I put 20 hours in there. I'm still still struggling what, to know what to do, but uh, but that's that's the fun part of this game is figuring out uh, you know smaller things to to kind of help you out. But anyways, let's get started here. So when we get started, we actually get to pick our player name. I'm actually might just leave him uh, as the main character. Uh, this is Kirito from uh, actually the anime, uh, and of course this is from the anime. Uh, if you guys look up Sword Art Online, you actually find it's a pretty cool and it's, it's a pretty cool anime. So. Uh, you can look on Netflix or whatever website you go to watch uh, anime. So whatever website you go, it's actually pretty cool. It's based on like a like you're on a, you're like in an MMO game where things happen and and you can't get out now. You're stuck in there, kind of like dot hex style. But anyways, uh, I just want to get into the game here. Uh, I'm gonna pick some hairstyles. They actually have some more hairstyles here because it's actually from the DLC. I haven't checked if there's any DLC yet that has come out. But uh, I think I might just keep them as Kirito, uh, normal Kirito. So uh, I think I should be good. I'm not going to change anything. Uh, and, and of course, later on, uh, when you get to access to your room, uh, you actually get to change you know, the, your character and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, I keep pressing X because uh, that's how we were taught in, in, in the U.S. here. X is our main button. But uh, somehow... This game didn't translate into, <laughs> I mean, literally, translation's off. Uh, it feels like it's just whatever's from the Asia version, which I do have too. And then they just kind of brought it over here with some minor fixes and things like that. And But then they kept Circle as the main, uh, you know, button. So it, it's kind of weird, but it, it can, you, you just kind of just learn with that. But anyways, let's get started here. We get some cool little action or a little CG scene here. So I'll be quiet and let you guys watch. Alright, so now we're here. Uh, you can actually s skip a few of these. Uh, uh, let's see, what button do you have to press? I think it was R1. There we go. No, not R1. L1. Yep, you can skip with L1 here. Blah, 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 blah. We just want to get to the action scenes. That's what we're. That's what we're here for. So first attacks. That's your normal attacks, and you have to hit them, of course, you can see from there, successively, and then you do a burst attack. So, uh, it's not just pressing circle, 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 you know, smashing circles. Uh, you have to kind of press them, and you see you got your burst gauge there, so it's pretty cool. Uh, there we go. And, of course, we could run around the map here. And there you go. That's your burst. 
and then once you do your burst attack, you actually follow up with a cool special here. So, uh, and of course, okay, let's go. Stun him. Circle attack. There you go. And of course, it costs you SP. If you see from the bottom there, SP. Oh my gosh, I just missed. SP is kind of goes up as you keep playing, as you keep running around here. Uh, what can we do here? Oop, here we go. So we have to press X to do a sidestep or to dodge, of course. It uses up your burst. You see from there, if I do that, it uses that up. Pretty cool stuff. Oh yeah, and just a little background here. This is actually... I'm actually... Oops, oh wow. I'm actually playing this on my uh, my P uh, PlayStation TV or PlayStation Vita TV, whatever you want to call it. I, I'm playing in that, so I'm pretty excited. Like I said, if you've seen my uh, Sengaru or whatever <laughs> gameplay, uh, you know I'm pretty excited for this thing here. Uh, I just don't have much time to play too much games anymore, so I kind of stick to one game and hop along, mostly with the fact that we have, uh, you know so many games coming out but anyways uh, risk management is uh, a way to lower the, the higher it is the more uh, the more you attract the monster and the more they do damage to you so your job is to kind of keep that risk management down when well, I can't burst yet but what I can actually do is go do my skills here oh, L1 here so you can just do, pick your whatever skills you want you hit L1 and then uh, your little skill tree pops up here. Of course, you have to have uh, you have to have uh, SP to do it. So it mostly costs around like a hundred hundred SP to do it. So uh, it depends on the the. Uh, oops, I don't want that. It depends on your uh, your skill too. Sometimes it costs 150, 175. So yeah, let's finish this off here. Boom, dead. And like I said. Pretty cool game. Uh, it does have a few frame rate problems, like I said. Of course, this is actually from the PSP version, so uh, it's just like a higher res uh, upgrade to the PlayStation Vita, which I am excited. It is did announce that they're making this the second game, which uh, is coming out for Vita and PS3. I was hoping they would do for the PS4. Maybe they will in the future, but uh, so far it's Vita and PS3, and I'm super excited for that. So, uh, you know. I will buy the Japanese version. If they have an Asia version too, I'll probably buy that instead of the Japanese version because the the Asia version is pretty much uh, English, well, actually broken English. But uh, you know, at least you get to know what the heck is going on instead of just reading uh, a bunch of uh, Kenji and uh, stuff like that. So of course, that makes it a lot easier. But we can skip this. Uh, they're just talking about how they're stuck in this place and it's always fun. Blah 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 blah. We just want to get to the action scenes, action fights here, so let's get started here. And of course I have to get to that area there, a little area that I have to to get to. It's actually like the hub of the world, and it can send you across the different little places like that, so. Uh, exploration, uh, it gets pretty deep in this game, I mean, you're looking at pretty tough stuff. Uh, I still don't know what the hollow world is or hollow uh, areas are. They're still pretty tough. Like I said, I played 20 hours of it. I, I kind of just go around collecting things. I don't really learn <laughs> what, what the, they're all about, but I just go and collect things. That's what I do. So let's get some fights here. And of course, you can burst into that. And boom, dead. So. Uh, you do have different moves to uh, to actually, you know, hit across different uh, enemies. Your burst attack here actually hits uh, multiple enemies that are uh, in front of you. But uh, the difference is uh, the difference is that uh, it doesn't do that much damage. But there are uh, special attacks that lets you lets you do more damage uh, to a wider area. So whatever's in front of you, you can do damage like that. Uh, let's see if I can open up my menu here uh, equipment of course Oop, keep pressing next circle uh, you got your weapons and of course these are his 
pretty much weapons. If you can see his levels, one hundred already. So, uh, <laughs> he, he, no, and no, you don't start out at uh, level one, which I I would love to see. But uh, if this follows the anime, this is kind of in the middle of the anime, so uh, he's already super buff already. And you can see my SP is going up by a little bit uh, if I'm just sitting here. And of course, you got different weapons you can equip. Uh, these are his two weapons from the, the anime itself, so I'm pretty excited. Pretty cool stuff. They really don't work for you. Even though they're super strong in the anime, they don't work. Just because of the fact that it's, you know, they, they can't really, they give you all the levels and stuff like that already, but they can't really you know, make you stronger. So, uh, we'll get to some more fights here. And then we can, like, do. Let me zoom the camera back out. We can do some more different moves like that to show off some some different moves, and of course you could uh, pick different weapons too. So uh, if I actually go to, and oh yeah, and this is like pure MMO style. Nothing pauses when you hit a start. Nothing like that. So you gotta kind of have to watch out a bit. Uh, you actually go to skills here, and these are all the weapons you can equip. And of course you're you're super strong already. You're all the way up here. Uh, I do have 19 points on a dual wield. I actually kind of want to go to a different uh, style because uh, I'm more of a. I love the. Or just, let me get to that. Katana. So uh, I want to get Katana, and the only way to get the Katana, you have to go through different levels, master different uh, weapons. But, anyways, let's go from the top here. We have the dagger skill, sword skill, uh, shimitar skills. I think that's how you say it. Uh, rapier skills. Of course, dual wield skills. That's what uh, uh, Kirito is currently equipped with. Uh, club skills, uh, great axe, spear, katana, two-handed. So, pretty cool stuff. You can have a, uh, a wide variety of stuff. Uh, the one-handed skill lets you actually equip your own, like a shield with your... You, technically, you don't have to equip a shield, but you can do it. Let's get started here. Okay, let's go fight some more. Of course, we're fighting. That's all we do. Okay. Get some more EXP. There you go. Knock him out. And this is some cool stuff you can do. Like if you press L1 here, you can tell what your partner. Uh, you can tell. Her, oh, uh, don't. I don't want to talk. You got bridal carry and holding hands. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, if you hit uh, L1 there, you can actually tell him what to do, uh, or R1 should say. You can tell him to use uh, her to use skills. Like, like that. Time to use skills. And she does it. So just in case your SP is low, uh, you know, you can tell her to do skills. Uh, like I said, I, I haven't said this yet, but I keep saying it. But, uh, this game's all about your skills. Uh, you can't really melee the, the, the characters to death. And technically you can, but it'll just take you a long time. Uh, and, you know, that's always fun. But there's reasons why you really just want to... Yeah, use your normal uh, auto attack is because you're trying to level up your uh, your weapon skills. So other than that, uh, you can't really kill the enemy by just uh, normally doing the auto attack. Which I probably I should show you guys just this just in case. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, oh, I don't want to go in there yet. So this next mission we're doing actually is just a small little mission we have to kind of do little little missions inside this area and our mission is to take out that boss so uh, we got to get to him southwest and defeat muscle bull horns in the way prove yourself that I am worthy I guess I couldn't read the last part <laughs> so hollow missions and it tells you where to go so Actually, it doesn't tell you where to go. You have to have to find his, your way there. Uh, in this mission here, there's actually some pretty tough bosses here, so you kind of have to watch out where you're going. And uh, well, they actually do block the way for you, huh? So yeah, you guys just got your normal. This is your normal attack. By doing nothing, uh, that's how you actually gain SP uh, quick. Is to do the, your normal attack. Just don't press anything, and it does it by itself. So. Uh, it doesn't do much, but like I said, uh, there's that, that's a good way to you know get uh, SP points uh, for your your weapons that you're trying to level up. So I'll tell her to use a skill, and of course they have to they have the same thing as you are. They have SP, and you see from their their level and their SP, it's still it's still the same. 
it's all it has to, has to be used too. So they can't just have unlimited SP. You just tell them to keep uh, doing things. <laughs> and then we got a chain attack there. And then she she does sometimes shout things like you know use your skills or switch with me, which uh, switch is a way to. To, I don't know if it, it'll teach us later, but it's a way to kind of bring the the wrist your wrist down. So uh, she takes all the, the you know attacks uh, for you and then lets you kind of recover for a bit. So it's a great way to do uh, to do that. And like I said, she'll call it out for you. There you go. I'm gonna get some SP. Oh my gosh, hit me for four thousand. Luckily, I have thirty-two thousand with uh, <laughs> HP regain. There you go. I'm just gonna fight her way there because I, I, I like fighting. I like to get some more uh, levels here. I should probably check what level I am. There we go. There's our our chain attack, and it hits strikes for massive damage. Uh, let's go to options here. Let's see. There we go. Oh, I still got a ton left. We'll just fight her on our way there. There's a pretty tough monster here. There's a little cheat here you can do too. It's called long cast, and what that does is it's able to aggro monsters towards you. So if you actually walk into that center part there, you will actually have to fight all three of them because they'll aggro each other. And then, but with the long cast, you can just—it uh, doesn't do much damage. Here you go. Uh, it doesn't do much damage, but what it does is, like I said, it just pulls you towards uh, the enemies towards you. It makes it easier to fight and make. Easier to manage. Just imagine fighting like or such like five or six enemies all, all in one spot and they all aggro each other. Uh, yeah, that's just not fun to do. I'm gonna do a sword skill here for her. Boom! We can avoid some monsters here too. Avoid these ones. Oh! Bring it up to us here. Uh, there you go. You see, you see that it says switch on the bottom there. If you press R1 down, you can actually you switch, which I don't need to do it right now because I'm not in really in trouble. So there you go. Some more kills. Do a long cast. See, like that. Something like that. Sometimes you aggro, aggro too. I'll just kill this one quick. Cause they do, they do uh, cost a lot of damage too, so kind of take them out pretty quick. What a late, late ass <laughs> dodge! Ooh, did I hit him too? I know there's a move that lets you do a a like a range attack, so I can hit like multiple enemies. Uh, I could do that, but I gotta actually get that out or put that in my. My skill tree there. I'm gonna just do normal attack. Actually, I might have to. I'm gonna make her do the attacks. New skill. There you go. And if you press, you press. No, you don't press that. What buttons map again? No. Oh. Mm. Not that. Uh, yeah, I guess it, I mean, there's a map button you can press. I don't remember where it is, but instead of going to the menu, I think you should be able. I think in the Vita, you just have to press on the map, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like it like that, but I don't think it, you can do that on the the PlayStation uh, TV here. Oh my gosh! Oh, did I get dual aggro? No, oh. had a funny aggro. That's all I'm say. Oh, there you go. And like I said, these are pretty quick kills, just because I'm kind of super leveled, so I really can kill these guys quick. I'm going to make her do a skill here. There go. Uh, there, oh, I got air go too. Nope, no I didn't. I'll just take him out, because it makes it easier for us. Boom! Dead. So what you can do is actually go to skills here. 
I think you press actually L1, R1, you can go to your palette skills, and you can you know put in different uh, skills into your your L1, R1 uh, buttons there. So uh, like in this one, I can move you know different things around, and I can actually set a burst to a different uh, different move here. So you don't always have to do. Uh, Death impact as a burst. You can actually do something else as a burst, but we'll just leave that normal. And then whenever we get a chance to, uh, we'll just change that up. So, head to this guy here. That's actually the boss. Of course, he got some cool red aura around him. Uh, we got to parry and do all that cool stuff. And we'll just get started here. Let's knock him down. And there's some pretty cool things like that. Uh, she called for skills. Let's do it. Boom. Yeah, it's about dead. I'm going to use that skill right at the end here. Easy. So easy. Like I said, you're kind of over leveled a bit in here, and that's the whole point. Uh, there are, like I said, tough mobs in here, but you probably wouldn't want to fight them until you get a little bit stronger or bring uh, some some items to actually kind of toughen you out a bit. But move the camera down here a little more, more closer to us. And this is pretty much it. We're gonna head to the area here. We are done with our hollow mission, and it adds into our hollow mission points and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't go into it until later, so. Uh, we'll go, we'll go into it uh, once the next episode starts, or maybe in a bit. Uh, you can actually skip all this. It just means that we have completed this, and now I can actually teleport out to the real uh, Sword Art Online world. This is kind of like a weird, weird world that they live in, or that she's kind of, Ophelia is kind of stuck in, and uh, she can't really get out. So only you can course because you're the main character that'd be kind of weird if you're stuck in this area but uh there are two worlds this is this has this place has its own missions and then you also have the real uh sword art online world which has its own missions too which is part of the story and if you've seen uh the anime you probably be like what the heck is going on uh it's actually something different so um let's go up i think we have to activate this first uh, do we? Yeah. Uh, there we go. Yep. Activated. So whenever I touch those stones, they're, they're, they pop on my map and I can teleport to them whenever I want to. Or whenever whenever I'm in this, in this room here. So. And this is our teleport stone out. Uh, skip, 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 skip. She's just talking about how she'll meet, you know, uh, tell Kirito to go ahead and you know, I'll meet you at the place. Or whatever, we're the, the Sword Art Online world, so. But, of course, she can't teleport out, so there's something, I guess, you have to find out why she can't teleport out. And these are characters from the anime, and, of course, uh, like me, I've never seen the anime before I play this, and though I, I had a chance to, I think I watched, like, the first, like, three episodes <laughs> uh, since I, you know, play this, and... You know, there these a few of these characters are not in the anime, or not as far as I've seen them. Uh, like her, I don't think she's in the anime. She is. She is, of course. She's your, the blacksmith girl, chick. But they're just mad at him because he was able to. He said he was stuck in his world with this chick, and now, uh, <laughs> and now she's. Uh, and they're like, oh, you must be. You know, going around dating her or something like that. Uh, okay, so you call, and we're going to watch this cutscene here. わるいが一つだけ頼みがある。何かな。簡単に負けるつもりはないが、もし俺が死んだらしばらくでいい。明日が自殺できないように計らってほしい。おお。よかろう。キイトくんダメだよ。
遊ばれてるのか Alright, so it's back. We gonna skip all of this. Talking, talking, talking. Talking, talking, talking. And this is, there's just a lot of talking in this game. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, so I like to skip a lot. Um, because it's just much easier <laughs> to get through. I just want to fight. That's all I really want to do. I don't care too much about story. Like you see, this is a few minutes already. And or like 30 seconds, maybe a minute, and it's still going. Just imagine you're just watching this, and um, are you reading this and going through it? This is the problem I have a lot of uh, Japanese games is because of this. Uh, they do a lot of a lot of talking, a lot of explaining, and things like that. Uh, I guess it does make it pretty cool. I mean, to get a little bit of the background of the story, but at the same time, sometimes I just kind of want to get into you know. A lot of the action stuff, so a lot of the RPG elements, the other RPG elements that I like, uh, a lot of the fighting, the item collecting, leveling up, that is my bread and butter, so that's what I love about this game too. And of course, uh, you get a new character here, and you've probably seen her already, so she's that little, she looks like a ninja lady, a ninja lady, so uh, we'll try to get to, uh, to where we actually get to... And this is the opening scene. So we're trying to get to where we actually can uh, kind of walk around so it can auto-save for us. It's actually auto-saving now. You can see for us, it says data back up there. So there we go. And do, 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 we are in the town. And we're talking. Can we get this done with the talking, the talking, the talking, and the talking? Oh, right there is just saying that... Uh, uh, you know, I can go to this place that you know when nobody can and nobody else can enter unless Kirito takes you to to the area. Uh, they can't automatically go there themselves, so Kirito has to kind of be uh, with you. Uh, but anyways, there we go. Uh, we get to actually walk around, uh, buy items here. I right, get a tour of the town here real quick. Uh, let's talk to uh, Asuna. Asuna. Uh, let's team up. Firm. And you have a bunch of other team members you can uh, team up with too. Uh, if you go to items here, or not items, uh, start friends. Uh, a lot of these you can team up with. Uh, most of them are main. As of right now, these are the main characters uh, that you can team up with, and you can team up with other characters when you're doing a multiplayer. I don't remember if you can during the story mode here. So uh, yes, and there's multiplayer, but it's kind of, it's, it's a kind of weird multiplayer. So. Uh, this is how you get some quests to uh, receive some questions and not get some quests. Uh, take you to do a little tour of this area here real quick. Oh my gosh, more talking. More talking. Maybe I should have ended that before. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get a new character here. 
course, she's a. Um, she's pretty cool. She's I I like to use her just because she has like a big giant sword. And that's freaking awesome. So. Uh, Talk, 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 talk. Let's get this talk done with so we can save. I'll give the tour of the area here first. Because it's reaching pretty big. Uh, I'm already at the 30 minute mark already, so I kind of want to keep it at 30 minutes. But like I said, this is going to be the first episode, so it's going to take a while. Let's not look at our messages yet. Uh, town structure. Oh, there you go. I should probably just show that to you guys. But, anyways. Uh, Edgy, I, Aggie, I don't know, I don't know how you say his name, but he kind of sells you uh, some of the small, some items and stuff like that. So, uh, and then if you go in there, you actually go up, you can go change your, your, uh, you go up to your bedroom and change all your your suits and uh, things like that. So not your suit, but your your character, uh, the, your character's looks. Uh, over here is actually the, uh, and it's gonna get laggy here. I'm pretty sure it will. This is the the market shop. So. We'll see if it gets slaggy. It usually does. Not right, I guess not right now. I mean, later on when you get to... You get a lot of people in here. It gets pretty bad. Uh, so, uh, your weapon shops. Here. Uh, if Whenever this thing pops up... I have, I'm not going to explain it. We'll talk about that later. This is actually a blacksmith shop. She'll open that up in a bit. Let me head over here. I think we're going to get another cutscene. I think so. We'll see what happens. Yep, yeah, we get another cutscene. It's just a quick one, though. And Argo is in charge of a lot of the information, like uh, how many en uh, enemies have I battled and things like that. And keeps track of the enemies I have taken, uh, have beaten, and little things like that. So, there you go. Blacksmith shop open. Uh, and then, of course, this is your teleporter. I uh, hit uh, circle. And, oh, can't do it yet. I guess not. Uh... But I should be able to that in a bit to to teleport to the hollow area and, and other floors too. So uh, this is going outside and of course the big old bright spot means outside. Uh, this person you get to talk to gives you quests and this will take you back around to uh, around back to uh, the shop in the beginning here. So it's just an inter interconnected uh, town. Oh there's a lag. There you go. So, oh wow, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Told you, told you. When there's a lot of people around, it gets, it gets pretty laggy. So let's get get in here, uh, do a save, and it's auto save, so it saves every time you zone in, zone out to a different area. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, for uh, Sword Art Online, a hollowed fragment. A pretty awesome game. Like I said, it still has some problems that you see from there. The, the frame rate can get pretty, pretty weird. Uh, pretty uh, pretty low uh, once it gets to a big action or not action but uh, when there's a lot of people around like that so and then later on when you actually get into uh, get a lot more people inside your town yeah it gets pretty bad but uh, other than that this is it's actually a pretty cool game I still enjoy it playing it uh, like I said this is actually I don't think we can have multiple save files so I kind of just saved over my old file but that's okay if we're playing if I'm playing this as a playthrough, I don't mind doing that at all. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see everybody next time.